Hi guys, sorry, I started the wrong one. Let me just pause recording. Zoom call. So welcome everybody to the where are we now? October webinar. Still jet lag from going to the UK. <laughs> Okay. Hi Raj. Jamil. Hey Sal. Yes. Long and uneventful trip back from California. Okay. So first of all, guys, um, and I'm sure the guys that will agree, please make sure you say panelists and attendees here. Um, the guys that came to Kansas City, it was a fantastic event. I really, really enjoyed myself. Uh, it, was, it was amazing. It was amazing to spend time with 40 um, really enthusiastic traders that wanted to learn. Uh, it was amazing. So thank you for those that turned up. You made it a great event. It really, really did. Thanks, Chris. So... Actually, Damien's put a little two-minute montage video of the weekend. Um, so I'll just share that with you, the link with you for that. So it's on, it's on the, um, it's on the Houston page. Okay, thanks, Jeremiah. So Tim, yes, you're already booked for Houston. I know, and you're booked for the live, the Smart List live training as well. Um, so bear with me. <laughs> I wish I could come to everywhere, but I can't. So, uh, so yeah, so Damien's made a small montage video um, of the event. It's on the Houston uh, training event to book for the 18th and 19th. Now, we've got people booking. Tim's already booked on here, and there's quite a few others. So we've only got 34 seat seats in this one. It's a smaller room. Um, so I'm going to put the... I'm going to put the page in there and just take a look at the video there. It's really, really cool. Damon's done a great job today. Uh, getting some voiceovers from people that attended there, what they thought, and then some images of the page. Even an image of somebody paying me $10 of a, as a fine. Where's that? Um, I think it was Summit. He paid me $10 fine. There he is. See, look, he paid me a $10 fine. <laughs> okay, so yeah, take a look at that page. That is the two-day uh, training course, and I know everybody that attended there uh, found it very, very useful. Now, we also have a one-off in-person day with me on January the 21st. So this is the Tuesday. So this is smart list training stroke bits, and this is live in the market. So I'm planning this out now. So what we have is we're going to have, we're going to start at 7 a.m. that morning because it's in Houston. We're going to have breakfast. We're going to do teaching, trading, teaching, trading, tree, teaching, trading. Okay. Uh, so we're going to be looking at the different strategies to use the smart list and micro um, futures contracts, uh, bracket trades, all that sort of stuff, using the smart list to get you smart into these trades. Okay, so this will be brilliant. Um, so this is on January the 21st, because Monday the 20th is the markets are closed, it's Martin Luther King Day. So I am going to be there for the week. I will have just done the weekend trading, and I'm going to visit NASA that day, and everybody who's coming to this smart list training event, or to both, or to the other one, quite welcome. You'll all wear your Wave 5 trade t-shirts and we'll go to NASA for the day. Okay, so um, again, that second one is the smart list training. So those couple of announcements, really important to me because I can tell you now, I have never stood up in front of people and actually talked about trading or, or taught it. Uh, but I got so much energy uh, from that weekend. I, I loved it. I'd I wish I could do it everything. Thanks, Bill. I wish I could do it every weekend, but it's a long journey for me. Um, so I, I can't wait for Houston. The energy will be brilliant. Again, we'll have fun. 
uh, and we'll learn. So hopefully you'll be able to uh, join me there. Uh, if you were already on the KC event, don't forget this Smartness training is a one-off, uh, only available to 34 people. There's no updates to bits at the moment. Uh, the bits is not changed since it first came out, Vic. Uh, so let's get rid of those. Okay, bit system, how you use it in your trade, in our trading. Okay, so let's have a look at RT1 today. Let's find the chart first. Uh, Trev, I don't, you can use one for the two day event and one for the smart list. I don't think there's no option to use two credit cards for the one event. Uh, it just doesn't work I like that. You just got to put one, one credit card in, I'm afraid. Uh, so RTY today, potential fifth May wave move was down. Um, but you know, to be honest, indexes have been pretty pretty uh, pretty crappy uh, last last couple of days um, but it just, I just wanted to show you there was a fifth wave move down there whoever was in it should have been out by now really because it's been a very very slow boat but what we would look for if we've got in this trade and we've made about 50 ticks by the looks of it we then go to bits and we have a look at the bits now this gives us other offer tra uh, training opportunities so what happens with the bits is that we've had this move down here, which again, when we saw in the Elliott wave, uh, we, we pulled down. Now it's pulled back against that. And we're finding some sort of resistance now. So what happens is now, what we're looking for is this to come back down and give us a, a breakout trade back to the downside to get back in the trade or if we miss the fifth wave moving, you see all these signals being being in my ears right now. Okay. Um, so what it, what it does is gives you a secondary opportunity to actually get in that trade. Um, if it starts to move down and we get the signals, we get a nice tight stop and entry. So I've just got a signal on M2K, for example, which is the micro for RTY. Okay. So we have got a potential short now. So imagine we didn't get in the fifth wave trade or it started to pull back. We've taken profit. Now we've got a potential short on our hands with N2K. Okay. So we've had a pullback during the fifth wave move. We're pulling back up. Now we've got an entry at 1552.2 short with a 1555.8. And for those that are in the 5K club, you will have the exclusive risk calculator to work out that risk. So in the 5K Club, for those that are members, and it's only available for 5K Club members, futures risk calculator, click on it, it pops out, okay? So now we can have a look straight in here, we're going to M2K, we're going short. Five by one five, 52.2. We've got a 1555.8. Okay, so that's $1.80 uh, risk per one contract there. So we'd probably go, say, let's just go 20 contracts, $36 risk, looking for a flyer. We go 50 contracts, okay, and we can take them off. So what this does shows you the risk for this trade. So you can imagine on this. Um, this micro contract here, we've got a pretty good uh, trade with very, very low risk. Uh, even if we did 20 contracts, it's not a long, not a large risk on this micro. And I'm going to talk about that when I teach this in uh, in Houston on this smart this training event. Um, but what we what we look for is we're looking for a resumption of that fifth wave move. We've got a target down at 15. 48, 1548 is down here. So we've got a nice little move here. What we're looking for as well is we're looking for M2K as the catalyst, maybe for an RTY signal to back us up. 
We also look at longer term with, uh, on the say the 15 minute chart. So we have a 15 minute signal now on M2K. Now this is the sort of thing you'd leave overnight. Okay, or you would get on early in the session. So this signal, for example, is below the low of the day on the 15 minute time frame. The signal's good at 15.50.25 on M2K. We've got a stop at 15.56.05, and we've got some fresh air below, okay? We've got some major fresh air below. So what we do is we just adjust our risk to reward here. I like to do the longer time frames on these. So entry is 15.50. I like this one better, 0.25. 15, 56, point one, no, point, um, point two, point zero. Okay. So for 20 contracts on here again, and we did 100 contracts. Okay. 50 contracts, $146 risk. So if you want to carry this overnight, you're looking for a flyer overnight. Uh, you don't want to risk too much. 20 contracts, you're risking $60, $58, okay? On 20 contracts, M2K, with the stop on, good till close. Uh, if the stop gets taken out, you just cancel the order. Uh, but we have some major fresh air below. And if we get a runner on RTY overnight, this could be a monster trade in the morning. Uh, so again, M2K is the micro contract for RTY Rochelle, okay? You don't have this one. This, this is not the one, okay, Trevor? This is something I'm trialing at the moment. You do not have this false breakout stochastic. Remember, what you see on my screen, I test and adjust lots of different strategies all the time. So thanks for pointing it out, Trevor. You will not have this right now. This is something I'm testing, okay? I'm constantly in testing mode. So this is, I actually quite like this N2K. So I'm going to put 20 contracts on there, put it on overnight. Uh, so let me bring that down. So 20 contracts. I want to go, I want a good till close. I want to go short at 15.50.25. So 15.50.20. Okay, 20 contracts, orders on. I'll let that play out. If it takes a stop out for the order, I'll just cancel it. But the main thing for me is the order is below the low of the day. Okay, so if it breaks that, it's gonna fly. So I'll just leave that off to one side right now. What I wanna do though, is I just wanna to go to the 60 minute time frame. Okay, and I just wanna extend these support resistance zones. These ones, that we will be adding to the 5K club soon. I just wanna, I just wanted to test them a little more. Okay. Let's just do that one more. So with the 5K Club, remember we do these zones and I give you a spreadsheet every week. Uh, but right now I'm just working on these zones. Once I'm happy with them, I'll start to include them now I'm back from the USA in there. So what we do is we, we look at the risk reward on here and we would see that we're one to one into this sport zone at 1544. Uh, we might get a flyer though. Uh, so we'll, we'll just have to see, but those that are going to leave their computers We'd probably put a take profit in at that second target zone there at 1544. Um, so that's how we can uh, use those those um, those smart lists, stroke the bits uh, to help our trading. Okay, Trevor. Yes. Yeah, so what we're looking for on bits, uh, and we we'll use this as an example right now. So the idea with bits, and you haven't attended a training, so you don't understand the, the, and I teach this live because you really need to understand it properly. It's all to do with volume and price action. And with the bits uh, <clears throat> software, 
we see the red candles are down candles with high volume. The cyan candles are down volume with lower volume, okay? So we do get the movement. Then we pull back. We pull back into our points of control. So this yellow uh, is our lagging point of control. The pink is our main and the cyan line is our blue points of control. Guys, you've got to use the chat. Don't use the questions because I really can't respond. Okay, so BITS really works on volume and price action and it is within respect of our points of control. So what we're looking for is an explosive breakout. You can see all those, hear all those ding-dings now. They're, that's the smartness giving me signals. Okay, so what we're looking for here is these are our points of control, okay? You can see when we get these points of control crossed, we come down, we come back to test, we come back down again, then we get the signal. We get a contraction in price action, but then a big increase in volume. So it's like it wants to burst out. It's that breakout that we're looking for. So good trades. In this instance, this is a good looking trade in that the bias indicator on the higher time frame is red, which is bearish. We've had a nice little pullback, we're coming back down and our entry is below the low of the day. So it's got to do some work there. So that, um, this M2K looks good for a breakout, 15, 50, 25. We've got a bit of risk to reward into, into the lows there. And we can go obviously onto lower time frames as well. Uh, let me just move that out there because what I want to do is also look at, so we have two products, Laurie. One is the Elliott Wave fifth wave move. And again, on M2K, we should have been in this fifth wave move already. Okay. And then we have the breakout strategy. Again, when we look at this, is there's a bit breakout strategy here. Okay. Yeah, small bar, large volume, okay? So small bar, large volume, Trevor. So we're contracting in price action and we're ready to squeeze out because we've got an increase in volume. And our algorithm spots the right circumstances for that, okay, um, and gives you the signal. Let's go on to a normal contract like gold and I'll show you the differences between those and um, when it finally gets there. Okay, so with gold right now, we're near the highs of the, of the day. Just wanna bring these up. So I, the way I do this is I have two sets of charts. I have the bits breakout on the top, okay? On the three and the five minute for day trading. And I have the Elliott wave on the bottom there, okay? So now we've had a wave for pullback on gold on the five minute. We've come back to, uh, for support resistance. We've got a higher support level now. We'll be looking to go long on gold. Now, we're later on in the session. Not, uh, not, we want to, we want as many people, Marie, in the um, live sessions as possible. Uh, those live sessions will go through next year and then we will do streaming courses after that for that same course because we put a new course together. Uh, but for now, we need to, uh, I need to get in front of people and I'm sure those that came to Kansas City, uh, I mean, one, one, one lady said that, you know, um, it's 10 times better doing it live than it is online because uh, I can give you all my attention. Uh, it's for two whole days and you can ask lots of questions. Okay. So there will be online courses soon, but um, so yeah, on the chat guys, make sure you use all panelists and attendees. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here we, we, we'd say, okay, the wave four behaved well. We could be in this gold trade right now. It's pulled back, found a higher support level. So the fifth wave indicator, the Elliott wave indicator is working. It's a great trade on gold. You know, for those not in that tr gold trade already, we'd be looking at a 15, 50, 40 to go above here with a nice tight stop. But what if we had a breakout with increased volume to help us get into that trade 
with some confidence, with volume, okay? Our biases does turn from neutral to bullish, so there's more volume coming now on the higher time frames for gold. It's pushing up. We can see that we've got to break this pivot point here, which, you know, we need to be above 15, 15, 40. So we're going to be looking for bit breakouts on gold, okay? Uh, on the five, the, the two, the three, and what helps us with that is our smart list. So somebody said, what's the benefit of having smart list if you, if you already have gold? Because on the smart list, you can drag these out everywhere, okay? That's just the two and the three. I've got the five, the 15, the 30, the 60 minute. These are giving me the signals on all of these futures contracts, okay? Real time. You can't look at this many futures contracts on all your charts and get those signals. What this does is goes bing, bing, bing. You get the little lightning flash and it gives you the, the entry and everything. You can then go to your chart, put that on, and your bits will confirm it. We've just got another signal right now, okay? And then what I teach in Houston is we look how to combine that two, three, then the five minute to give you some... Um, confidence on those types of trades uh, when those signals come through. So ADV is the average daily volume, Tim. Scott, if you purchase the bits and Elliott Wave indicators yesterday, the, uh, I think you purchased them for TradeStation. It isn't a zip file. It's a separate file. So if you contact uh, Damien, he will sort that out for you. He's very good at that. So on the smart list here, we can turn it light to dark. We can pop out another one here. We can put it on 30 minutes. We can change it light to dark. Um, and then you can see the signals on 30 minutes there. So the average daily volume really is an indicator of how something's going. So if we are really low volume on a particular um, contract, uh, we, we, you know, ZC, for example, and we get a signal, we're not likely to look at that. Now, M2K, we're at 3,713% times the normal. We're in massive volume on that today. So if we get a signal on M2K, we're going to really take notice of it. Okay, 87% on 6S, for example. A lot of volume going through that today. A lot of volume going through the micro MNQ as well. MES, 103% now. So that gives us an idea of where, where, the, where the volume is, where the, where the focus is of uh, institutional um, futures traders there and where that volume is. So it gives us a good idea. If we're really low volume and we get a signal, uh, especially when the market's open, we, we probably think twice and it's just there to help you really. Thank you, Richard. Okay. Right, we just noticed we just noticed that. Okay, so we've got an issue with um, six JZ. The um, the decimal points uh, for some reason are wrong. So they should be seven decimal points, believe it or not, on six JZ, and they're only five. So we're going to just alter that right now. Okay. Yes, it does, Ellen. Um, it works on higher time frames. So we go up to the 60 minute is the highest time frame on, um, on futures. On stocks, we do a daily time frame, which is pretty awesome, really. Um, and that gives you really good potential uh, swing trades. I know Vic, that's right in the room right now, made over $2,500 on a signal from Amazon on his stock smart list very recently. So very, very powerful. Um, some of these longer term trades on MGC on the 60 minute time frame, for example, these are the sort of things I'll be teaching in Houston in that event because these are the ones we carry, okay? These are the ones we set up um, on the 60 minute time frames, and we're more likely to, to hold on a lot longer uh, to do that. So let's have a look on the 60 minute time frame here. Okay. 
So we've had quite a few signals on this. But this just goes to show you, look, 60 minute time frame, one o'clock signal here, target one, target two, target three, target four, okay? Hit the target zone. This is the 60 minute time frame on gold. Entry was 15.04.30 and it's now at 15.14.70. How many ticks is that, guys? 15.04 to 15.14, okay? 100 ticks on gold today. That's 10 points, 100 ticks, Venkat. And it's $10 a tick. 100 times 10, $1,000 per one contract for that trade today. 60 minute time frame. Again, that came from our bits signal. Now this is 1 p.m. my time. The smart list signal is your local time. So that long there came in on the smart list and these are the trades. Okay, this was the latest trade. These came in earlier in the day. So this bottom indicator on there is the bias, Trevor. So the bias gives you what's going off on the higher time frame. So when we look at gold right now, okay, so we're on the five minute time frame. We don't want to know what the bias is on the 30 minute and it's automatic. When it's yellow, it is neutral. When it's green, it is bullish. When it's red, it is bearish, okay? So if you get a long signal and you're neutral bias or bearish bias, you don't take it. So this bullish signal here at 15.14.70, which was never taken in, was actually, we went neutral, okay? So you just cancel the order. It gives you an indication automatically of what is happening on the higher time frames. So it's very, it's I mean, I've got a lot of screens, guys, and I cannot look at all the major micros and e-mini contracts. What the smart list does for you is gives you the signals. It goes bing, 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 and it tells you there is a short on RTY on the 15 minute just come up now and the entry is 1553.10, remember? Remember we've already got a, a, a signal on that from earlier, so let's have a look at that now because we may want to adjust. Uh, we might get a tighter stop and entry. Let's have a look, okay. So this signal's just come up on the smart list and there it is on the bits. It's broken the stop on the bits, we cancel, okay? But what the smart list does is tells you there is a signal on this futures contract or on a stock on the what time frame, okay? Our order is still good on the 60 minute that we looked at, okay? Oh, we look at M2K, do apologize. So M2K is still good at 1550.25, yeah? It's nearly taken the stop out though. So if it takes the stop out, we just cancel the order. So Trevor, do you understand the bias indicator now, part of the bits? Hopefully it all, all makes sense. Anybody checked out the video yet on that page I sent you from uh, from Kansas? Damon's done a great job on that, really, really good. So we've got a, we've got a long signal on M2K now. So about anything on RTY? Nothing yet. Got a two minute signal on gold. Have a look on my other computer. It's, ooh, that looks pretty good actually. Let's go gold. I'm going to bring the two minute chart over. I'm going to go big. So first check, bias is green, good. Where's our entry compared to the recent pivot? It's above it just, okay? 
15, 15, 40. I mentioned that price earlier on another signal. That's pretty freaky. Okay, so we've got a bit of a bullish bias going on there. The dollar coming down, trying to. Dollars at support, so not a great looking trade. But you know what? That is really, really small risk. So we get our risk calculator again. If you're in the 5K club, this is available in there. We go GC. This is going to take out the stop anyway, but we'll do it as an exercise. 15, 15, 40. Okay, and the stop is 15, 14, 20. Okay, so that's $120 risk per one contract for that trade, okay? So with the bits, again, to remind you, we are, the points of control are in the right position. We've got increased volume here. We've got a signal. It's above this recent pivot point. The next pivot point is just over one to one. Looks pretty good, actually. Uh, let's have a go at this while, we, while we're here. Why not? Let's take advantage of this. So I'm just going to go one contract while I'm with you guys. 15, 15.4. We're going to go long. Okay. Put that on. Now, I'm leaving the M2K short on as well because if gold goes up, those indexes will go down. All we're looking for really is a bit of, bit of a dive in the dollar, but it's found really great support right now. So, you know, it's going to be a bit of a, a quick move. To be honest, it might be a five tick move for me. Where's that uh, five tick, 59 could be. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, Richard, you've got the, the standard membership. The, what you get is, bear with me, you can upgrade. Richard, you can upgrade. So on the smart list, when you go in, you go to futures. Okay, I'm, I'm upgraded. But on yours, you should see the one, the two, the three, the 30, the 60 blanked out. If you click on them, and please let me know if this works, you get an opportunity to upgrade. So what you've got now is the basic, which is the five and the 15. We do have the mega membership, which is $249 a month. But to be honest, one trade and you've got that back. So it's not, it's not a massive amount of money. Uh, so you should be able to go in there uh, and upgrade. Um, so please let me know if you can't, and we'll let the dev team know. Uh, but yes. The, in there, you should have, you know, those will be blanked out, um, except for the 5 and 15, and you should be able to upgrade. So let me know if that works, Richard. Uh, so again, we, you know, the first level entry is 5 and 15 minutes, because that's what a lot of people use. But the mega membership, we've got all of these time frames now, and you can just pop those out as and when you want. You can change the time frame, 30, change it dot, move it around onto another screen, and it's there, okay? Even works on your mobile phone. Okay, uh, so hopefully, right. So what you need to do is uh, we need you need to get into if you want to upgrade, get in touch with Damien, and he will send you a link to upgrade. I was told that there is an upgrade button somewhere in your uh, thing, so maybe Taufik, if you're there, um, you can um, speak to the guys and look where we actually upgrade for those members that are only on the basic package. I do believe it is there somewhere, but again, I've got the full package, so I can't see. Okay, thank you. Bear with me a second. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. <laughs> 
Perfect. So M2K is coming down. So the gold order is still good right now. We're coming to a high volume node, the point of control right now. So um, it is hanging on. If the if the order breaks the stop on this two minute time frame, we will just cancel the order. You've got to be like a sniper. You've got to wait. You've got to keep an eye. No, there's no there's no option to change the ding ding jw it's supposed to be annoying okay to grab your attention okay so we'll let that run for a little while it annoys my wife to death because she works in the mornings doing accounts in the office, and all she can hear is ding, ding, ding. <laughs> right, Stephen, you haven't got any of the software. So if you just get the smart list and you haven't got the bits indicator, you are not going to be able to, uh, well, you will be able to trade it, but you've got to follow blindly. And I say to any traders, don't follow anything blindly. To have the backup on your chart here with that two minute on gold uh, is really, really important to me. So to have your points of control, have the bias. We don't have the bias on the smart list. The smart list is there to aware, to give you a way to you know, explain those uh, that it were there. Okay, there is a signal, check it out. You then open your chart, you've got the bits for Think or Swim or TradingView or Ninja Trader or TradeStation, and you think, yep, yeah, that's good. Where's my next pivot point? Entries above there, that's good. Bias is green, looks like a good trade. So you need the bits, um, uh, email Damien at info at tradethefifth.com. Info at will okay okay so email Damien he will give you the links um, for that just let him know which um, platform you have think of swim or whatever We've got a lot of signals coming through now uh, Toss, okay. He will give you the link for the bits and he'll also give you the link for the smart list, okay? Really, really simple to use. You get the ding-dings. Uh, so we've got, a, we've got a long signal on, on oil at the same time as gold. Ooh, let's have a look at that one. It's on the two minute on oil. Uh, it's broken the stop, you see? So we get the signal on the, whoa, think or swim's gone funny there. We get the signal on the smart list. We check our chart when Think or Swim starts to play. Not a bad looking signal. However, broke the stop, so we cancel. 6C, we got a signal short there. On the two minute, you gotta be quick, but that was a great looking signal. Charts just gone haywire at the moment. Sorry, guys. Oh, guys, look at that move. It's through target two already. Okay. This signal came out at 46. So I was a little late because I'm with you guys. But that came as soon as that candle closed. That was the entry. Boom. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for that big breakout. Margaret, you can, uh, you can have your smart list on your, um, on your phone, for example. You can have it on your iPad. You can even have it running in the background on your laptop and you would have the software on your screen on the laptop. The time frames are automatic, Trevor. We have told, we tell you what, what are there. So on this buy, on this two minute time frame, it says 30 in there. That's automatic. Okay. So if I now go to the 60 minute time frame on the bias, 
it automatically puts it at the daily 1440. So when you change time frame, the bias change is automatic for you. The different dots for bits, okay? Let me just go back to gold a second. I just want to keep an eye on that one. One, two, gold. Where's gold? My dog's at the door saying it's time for a walk. <laughs> yeah, bias is always a high time frame. So the dots, which dots are you talking about, Trevor? These pink dots or these dots, which is the bias, which I've just talked about? You probably mean the bias, in which case we've just discussed it and we're good to go. So the, the dollars bounce back up again. Gold's going to go down. So these dots... These, forget this, this is a volume profile, okay? These are all to do with the volume profile. These dots here are the targets. This is the entry, target one, target two, target three, target four, okay? Uh, yeah, he's a French bulldog, he's been asleep all day. Uh, my wife's gone out because it's trick-or-treating here because it's evening. So he's just sulking at my office door, breathing heavy, reminding me it's time for a walk. And we've got a nice, because it's dark now, we've got a flashing collar, um, red collar on so people can see it. So that's taken the stop out for the order, guys. So all we do is cancel it, okay? We cancel the order. That is cancelled. We're going to go back to M2K because that is still coming down. Okay, that's coming down, okay. The order's still good. Didn't take out the stop. You see how we're moving back down now on M2K? So these, ignore these. These are to do with my volume profile. These are yesterday's high, close, yesterday's low. The only other green dots would be on the bias if the, at the bottom there. Forget these again. Remember, I am trialing stuff all of the time. You concentrate on the bits is these bias indicators, green, yellow for neutral, red for bearish. The main dots here is the yellow is your lagging point of control. The pink dots are your main point of control. And the cyan here is your advanced, your leading point of control, okay? These little green triangles up here ignore, and these little pink ones ignore. These are for volume profile. This is a course that I will be teaching next year on volume profile and how we use it. Let's move that off. Points of control. Okay, so points of control. What does it mean? Let's have a look. Six GC. Mm, I just saw a signal forming, so I'm bringing that up now. So points of control. So uh, imagine these are EMAs, okay, for, for argument's sake. If you've got a leading EMA, okay, and a lagging EMA, and this is your main point of control, so this has to be above the pink, and this has to be below the pink, yeah? So this one has to be above the pink, and the lagging has to be below the pink for us to be in a good state, a good bullish state. So the leading has to be above for a long, and the yellow has to be below the pink for a long. Now, the other way around, leading is leading you into the shorts, okay? So that blue now is below the pink, 
and the yellow is above the pink. Uh, JW, the support resistance zones are part of the 5K club. Um, this, uh, you know, it's 5K club thing. I have a spreadsheet. So on the 5K club, uh, where are we? Guys, if you're not part of the 5K club, it's $60 a year and then five to five dollars then to come and trade with me twice a month. Uh, and most people are making between four hundred and three and a half thousand dollars in that one session. Uh, it's not a lot of money. It's a great return on your investment. So what I do is you've got the risk calculator. I make the weekly videos with a downloadable spreadsheet, which has all your freight futures zones. I do them for you. These zones are the zones that institutional traders will be putting on their charts because I was one and this is what I do. So these zones are all on that spreadsheet and they then frame your chart, okay? I taught this in Kansas um, and I will be teaching it in Houston. It's not something I can do in a webinar uh, really quickly, but when we look at GC, let me just pull some of those on. I'm just extending these because I've not done any work on them since I got back from the USA. Okay, so what we have, I'm going to go to the five minute chart. So these are really, I mean, again, these are points of control, but they're linear. Okay, these are zones which uh, you go to higher time frames and you will put these zones on. Well, I do, and I do it for you, and you just download the spreadsheet and copy them. So the idea is you do not trade into these zones, okay? So whether it's gold, whether it's ES, you trade between the zones. If we were to get a signal like this, and we didn't have a minimum risk-reward to the pink before the zone, we don't trade it, okay? They are to frame your chart, don't go into the zones, look, okay? Test here, comes back down, find support at the yesterday's high, comes back up, models through, then we get a breakout. Look at this breakout here. Now, this was during the European morning. Uh, it could be any time of the day. We get the breakout signal above the zone. Go. Massive move, yeah? I'll be updating the spreadsheet this weekend, George. I've been away for a couple of weeks. They're pretty, still pretty good, to be honest. There's not much adjusting. Uh, so Saturday mornings is my mornings to uh, do all my zones and everything like that. So I'll be, I'll be updating the spreadsheet then. Uh, so yeah, this was the trade coming out of that zone today. 1503. 1517. 140 ticks. $1,400 per contract, okay? 10 contracts, $14,000 in a day. And the bias here was green. So on the spreadsheet for the 5K club as well, if they're blue, they're permanent. And when you go to M2K, uh, they're, they're not on uh, there yet. What I'm doing is the orange because the new and uh, what I'm doing is just actually seeing how they behave uh, and then going firm on those particular support resistance zones because um, these decision points, these linear decision points need to be adjusted. So when I start a new contract, I need to understand how that is working. If it's been tested, if it's not been tested, we've made new highs, where's the next one? All that sort of thing. And once they're in, they're easier to manage. Okay, so orange is just my testing. The bias, if it's green, you've got, if you've got a bullish signal, Trevor, and your bias is green, you go. Okay, 
If you get a bullish signal and the bias is yellow or red, you don't go. It's a go, no go gauge, yeah? So if you get a short signal and your bias is bearish, you go. As long as you've got a bit of, bit of distance, you know, you've got some fresh air between your support level and your entry, you've got a good risk reward. Uh, so it's as simple as that, really. It's a go, no go gauge. Does that make sense? QM on the two minute. Whoa, it certainly did. Good trading, Rochelle. So QM is the micro for oil. And this was the signal here, and it hit the fourth target zone. Simples. The bias indicator is included on the bits for Ninja Trader 8. The trade the fifth is not updated for Ninja Trader 8. The bias is included in the bits, not the Elliott Wave. Um, because you don't need it for early weight, you need it for the bits, okay? Uh, so that was a great look at in trade there. Well, good trading, Rochelle. Rochelle's just an oil trader, so she uses it uh, for, for oil, and that is the micro contract for oil, okay? So any more questions from you guys? We've been an hour long, we keep getting signals coming through. I think the M2K trade is still good right now. Well, the order is still good. Oh, hang on a second. Okay, guys, those that have, um, yeah, I'll just do the Elliott Wave now. Those that have the smart list for $97 a month that want to, um, upgrade go into your profile on the website let me do that now so go into your profile go to memberships my memberships you'll see them up here somewhere and you'll say and you click up uh, change plan okay and you can upgrade there yeah. Thank you, Vic. So those that have the $97 a month smart list, uh, you go into your profile, click on my memberships, find your smart list membership right now, and then click on change plan and you can upgrade. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So uh, Laurie, do you trade futures or stocks? Futures, okay, so let's look at futures on the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. So uh, let's talk about, um, let's, let's do M2K. Okay, so you can upgrade to all time frames as well on the Smart List page as well. So, and it will look like this the guys have been working while you uh, well i've been doing it okay so that's pretty awesome so elliott wave indicator suite so first of all the fifth wave move and elliott wave sequence is the highest probability move okay our indicator suite identifies Corrections and then it identifies the trend and it prints automatically. Okay, you can even change the start bar So you go this is printed the one the two the three and then the wave four was formed The short through the way for the fifth wave would have been below this point here. So 1555.4 Okay, and we didn't quite reach got an automated fifth wave target zone. We've not reached there yet We're still below break-even uh, so managing this trade will be pretty easy. We'll just make it break even right now. 
uh, but we are looking for that to go down and hit the fifth wave target zone. We also have an Elliott wave oscillator. So this oscillator pulls back on the wave four between 90 and 140% on there to measure the performance of the wave four. We also have a false breakout stochastic. And that's, let's put this on this chart for right now and just show you. Okay. False breakout stochastic. There we go. And selected. Click apply. Okay. So what we have on the false breakout stochastic is we have false breakouts on the bottom. We get a yellow line on the bottom. Okay. This is proprietary. Sort of, so we get that yellow line. It's telling you that this move has a strong bearish bias. Then when it pulls back on a wave four, okay, crosses over against this yellow bar, it wants to return to the oversold zone, which it's done. So you combine this false breakout stochastic, the 535 oscillator, our probability pullback zones to give you the trade setup for that fifth wave move into the automated target zone. So this is the three minute time frame. Okay, you can do it on five minutes, 60 minutes, 15 minutes daily if you want. So we pull back, we find resistance in the red zone. That's a 75% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five low. Okay, we've got the 535 pulling back good. We've got the, uh, the, the stochastic pulling back against the yellow bar. That wave force behaved pretty well. That's a good looking trade. So we've got the red as our you know, entry, if you want to. We've got to also look left as well. So an aggressive entry here would have been at 15.57. We reached the lows of 15.51. So that is 60 tick move on the three minute time frame. Not a bad looking trade already. Okay. Uh, and so these six ball moving average high and low are for your entries for long and short. And it comes with a boot camp. Uh, so it's very simple, highest probability move, and it works in all time frames, which is the best thing. I just want to take this off here a second because I have them on different charts. There we go. Okay. Does that give you a quick uh, understanding? So, Laurie, which, uh, which uh, platform have you got? Because we can give you the link. There's a video tour on there as well of how the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite works. TradeStation. Okay, so TradeStation, I'm going to give you the link now. It's going to go in the chat. So you can watch the video tour, which explains it again in a little bit more detail um, there in that link. And that video tour is for the Elliott Wave, but also you can watch the Bits Indicator as well. Mark, at the breakout signal, we get with the bits different to smart list. Not, no, not right now, okay? The smart list is smart, though. That will be going through machine learning over the next six months. So we can't do machine learning on a brokerage platform, okay? Gary, up 250 for the hour. You just followed my trades. That, you, and that's for free. <laughs> uh, okay. So, um, so the smart, going back to the smart list. So at the moment, the bits and everything is coordinated and it gives you that head start and you don't have to have all those charts open. But over the, over the next six months, it's going to do some machine learning. So sometimes you might, in six months time, you might get a signal on the bits but it won't give you on the smart list. The smart list will be the one to follow because that will learn from uh, trades that fail. Not all trades win. If you think all trades win, you're in the wrong webinar, please leave now, okay? So we, the, we can't do machine learning on the smart list, uh, sorry, on the brokerage platforms. We can do it because the smart list is on our cloud server, okay? It's on our cloud server, we dictate the data. The data is live. We pay for the data. You just got to subscribe. Okay, so the TOS, welcome, Gary. The Think or Swim link is there in the chat as well for whoever asked for it. Okay, for, uh, for Marie.
No, there isn't. Uh, there isn't uh, to save your your start bar. No. You're not going to get it this year, Trevor. We've got other uh, development priorities and it's still not working properly. And we've got other development priorities for the rest of this year. And we've also, uh, we, we're, we're, we're trying to put a target price and time on the target zone. So it won't be this year. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. We've got other development priorities. Uh, the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, suite works really well now. Uh, just, just doing a, a quick calculation on the 535 takes 20 well, 10 five seconds uh, so we when we bring version 4 out it's going to have more than just that on uh, but we've got other priorities right now uh, not at the moment bill again uh, send that email to damien and we'll put it on the dev list to see if we can do that um, when we do version four, the beginning of next year. Okay, any more questions right now? Because my dog is crossing his legs and he wants to go for a walk. Uh, and I'm pretty hungry, actually. It's uh, 10 past seven in the evening here. It's been a long day. Thank you, Mark. Cheers, Peter, William, thank you for coming. Cheers, Chris, thanks, JW. Bala, thank you, Robert. Rob, Brim, thank you. Sal, nice to meet you in San Diego. We hung out for the day. Cheers, George. The bits, if it's a long signal, the, can, the candle will be green. It won't give you a, sig, a long signal on any other color. If it's a short signal, it will be on a red candle. It's automatic, Trevor. Thanks, Janine. Cheers, Jeff. Juan, thank you. Cheers, Rich. Nagesh. Jeff. I hope I haven't forgot anybody. Thanks, Rochelle. Okay, guys. Cheers, Trevor. I'll see you all next month. For those in the 5K Club, the next session is the 12th of November. Be there or be square. Cheers, David. Cheers, Margaret. Uh, Houston is located at... Uh, there it is. It is at Double Tree by Hilton, Inter uh, Houston Intercontinental Airport, 1547 Jeff Kennedy. If you're going to book, you get the automated email that gives you the, um, the airport details. And I've got a really good deal for you guys. It's $98 a night for that hotel. So, really, really, really good deal. So, when you book that or you book the Smartlist training, uh, you get the email with the, um, you know, with the link so you can get the, the cheaper room rates. <laughs> no problem. Cheers, guys. I'm going to get going now. Cheers, everybody.